waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Senegal against Tunisia. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. Got things on the way. Great challenge. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. They've managed to get it away. Tries to stroke it through. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. He's delivered all right! And the game springs instantly to life! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Senegal ahead, one goal to the good. Could I? And he has been fouled there. Battles to win it back. Tries a through ball. That's a throw. Shoots! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. Looks like a good ball through. Senegal are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. Senegal scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Looks to slip it through. And he's made certain that won't get through. Aimed long and direct. Balls loose, who's getting there? Knocks it away. In once more. In for a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Oh, that's a real disappointment as well, after he worked so hard to just get into position and get on the end of that in the first place. A lot of effort for very little reward. For his pull play back and has booked him for the original offence. Spoon forward, gets it back. Senegal are leading with half-time drawing close. Plays it out to the wing. Plays it over to the other flank. It's a 
throw. Has a hit! And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Senegal, happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Dinks one in. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Well, they can break here. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Now the pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass, it only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Tries a long pass towards the front. Brings it forward. And he's not played the ball, that's a foul. That's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Gets good distance on it. Lofted into the middle. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Drilled in low. He can get that clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. There is the final whistle. Senegal, hold on. It's a narrow.